This is AZ Hubbard. We're out at the Wayne Executive Jet Port speaking with the director, David. David, how are you doing today? I'm doing real well. Hope you are. I am doing fabulous. Um, you all, you are the new director here, correct? Manager, airport manager. Airport manager. And how long have you been out in Wayne County? I started this job back on the 22nd of September this past year. Oh, okay. Now you have like a lot of experience with military, jets, planes. Could you tell us a little bit about your background? My background, pretty much I, I went to uh, East Carolina University here locally. I graduated with a degree in industrial technology. And after that, I entered the United States Marine Corps. I uh, went to basic training through Quantico, Virginia, the basic school. From there, moved on to Pensacola, Florida for aviation training uh, to become a naval aviator. I got my wings in May of 1981, and then from there I was stationed in California flying the uh, CH-53 helicopter. From there, went to Okinawa, went to Japan, uh, mainland Japan, went to the Philippines, uh, Korea, several trips uh, overseas, and then back to California, and from California I went to Andrews Air Force Base where I flew the uh, Beechcraft Super King Air. Mm, wow, you have a lot of flight time. Now that's one thing that's really important. Is that I know it's probably hard after all that you've experienced. About how many flight hours do you have? I've got right around four thousand hours. Oh God, that's a lot of time, isn't it? It's it, it adds up. Yeah. Okay. Now you came to Wayne County as the manager here, and it Wayne County has had this airport at here for several years, but now we're moving to a point where we're trying to get some recognition. Tell us about the Wayne Executive Jet Port and what you do in the community of Gold, Wayne County. Well, Wayne Executive Jet Port is, uh, I guess you would call it at, at this time, it's kind of a diamond in the rough where uh, we're doing a lot of improvements uh, with our runway, with our instrument, instrument systems for flying in here. Our, our jet traffic has picked up tremendously. That's why we're known as Wayne Executive Jet Port. We do a lot of corporate uh, uh, companies come in here for visit visitation meetings, uh, plans to purchase. So it really gives an opportunity for those folks to come in and take a look at Wayne County and see what future businesses they could establish here. It's, uh, it's really a, a big plus for the, for the county and for the neighborhood community. Right. And you also partner with Wayne Community College as far as having an aviation school. Could you tell me a little bit about that partnership? We do. Uh, Wayne Community, uh, Wayne County Community College has their uh, aviation program out here for uh, A&P mechanics, uh, airframe and power plant mechanics. It's a two-year program where when they finish, uh, they, they uh, have the opportunity to, to take to test to get their license for licensed A&P. That way they can work on all types of aircraft. We've uh, We've recently had some interest from Honda Jet about coming in and utilizing the, the community college here uh, for some of their recurrent training and that type of thing. So that again will be a big boom. Okay. Now for us novice here, we, you know, just layman, what is A and P? Aviation uh, airframe and power plant. Okay. And could you tell me a little bit in detail exactly what that entails? Is that the um, mechanics of the plane or? Yes, uh, the mechanics overall in the airplane, uh, you could consider airframes as being kind of like a body shop, you know, any little damage or any any painting and that type of thing, that's what they do, uh, repairs on, on the, the body and the, and the main structure of the airplane. Power plants, of course, that's the engines. They are uh, fully fully trained to perform any kind of maintenance, uh, both scheduled maintenance and then, and then uh, any kind of repairs that need to be made as well. Oh, okay. Now is that um, just for the planes that station that's you know that's out here and the people that come in here or do you service other planes in the area? I mean or that come in this that, can they come into this area to get service? Well they can. We, we also have a maintenance department here that's separate from the school. The school is pretty much a training in its own entity here mm -hmm. and that's what they do. Then once these guys graduate from uh, the, the community college here they take tests and, 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 and a series of oral exams and whatnot to become licensed and then they can go out and, and work you know at, at many different places uh, other airports uh, a lot of them do solo work themselves um, Honda jet again like we mentioned before there's there's lots of opportunity there and, and this this again it's a really good program that 
Wayne Community College has here. It's 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 pretty well renowned. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned that Honda Jet was interested in coming in this area. That would be a big economic boost for Wayne County. Well, it would, and and Honda Jet probably would would not relocate or anything here. But what they would do is is send their employees back to here to Wayne Community College to get their refresher training. Uh, maybe it's something that that's not a commonplace uh, repair or maintenance that they do. Mm -hmm. Something that's not not a regular thing. They would come here maybe once a year to to have that recurrent training, so that they could get hands-on training with with whatever they might need to do back at on the jet. Oh, okay. Well, that's still you know bringing in new commerce into the area because sure, they have sure. to eat, they have to sleep. Exactly. You know, that's still commerce. Yeah. Also, you <coughs> excuse me. You mentioned that you have corporate jets that come in to the area and. How does that work? Do they um, contact you all to get a flight pattern, and how does do they? They do. Uh, they they would follow their flight plan with the FAA, but then we would get notice that they were coming. And uh, generally, like I said, there's different companies and corporations that come in. Target, uh, uh, Sheets Sheets Oil Company. Mm -hmm. uh, Strickland Insurance, uh, Goldsboro Milling, actually, a local company here actually has their jet based here. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like I said, they they basically come in to do do site tours of the the, comp the, the factories that are already in place here, mm -hmm. and also to look for, for new developments that may, that may be economical for the county as well. Okay. Now, there's a lot of area out here. Exactly how how long is your taxiway and the acreage and everything that you have? Could you tell in detail what is out here for your don't, pallets? Don't quote me on the numbers uh, as far <laughs> as acreage, but I believe there's about 249 acres developed here with, with some more to be developed. Uh, our runways uh, right now is uh, 5,500 feet long, 100 feet wide. The taxiways are equal to that, mm -hmm. except they're, I believe, uh, 40 feet wide. Mm -hmm. So what is the maximum capacity of a plane that could land on your your taxiway? Right now we're rated at 42,000 pounds uh, uh, dual wheel, and and then uh, that, that can go up from there. We've had as big a, an airplane as a Gulfstream 4. Uh, wow. which is a good size good size jet coming in uh, right now it's kind of quiet you know you can see there's not much going on however tomorrow and the next day building up for the air show at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base it's going to be a buzz of activity here mm -hmm. we've got uh, several airplanes that are performing in the show will be here there's an extra 300 uh, with Jackie B air shows there's uh, eight they're called T6 Texans that fly with the Tora 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 flight for the Pearl Harbor reenactment. They'll be oh. parked out here on the ramp. There are two P-51 Mustangs. One's called Swamp Fox. The other one is called Quicksilver. Beautiful airplanes. Uh, these these planes run in the neighborhood of a million dollars, and, and, uh, <laughs> and so so it's it's quite a quite a quite a thing to look forward to coming here. Also tomorrow we're having tomorrow and Friday, as a matter of fact, there's going to be a company here called Precision Exotics. And what they're doing, they're bringing out a, a Lamborghini Gargo Spider and mm. a uh, Ferrari 435D. Right, that's the one I want to drive. Right, <laughs> they're, they're capable of 198 miles an hour each, and uh, they're gonna what they're gonna the company is gonna do is set up a road track uh, around with cones around our, our ramp and parking area, and people can come in and for a for a fee they can actually drive these vehicles on this road course. Uh, I believe that you get four laps with the course, so it's it's going to be pretty exciting, something to see, and uh, as, as well as taking a look at these exotic cars. Right, you have like, like a whole bunch of stuff going on coming up this this weekend um, with the planes and things on Thursday. I know you were sharing with us um, that you're also having some sports figures coming in, possibly. They have told me that that was what was going to happen. I haven't got any confirmation on that. We were supposed to be getting uh, at least four or five of the Carolina Panther football players, as well as a couple of their cheerleaders were going to be in here, and then a couple other celebrities as well. Uh, I do know Dale Jarrett, who was the 1999 NASCAR champion, mm -hmm. is coming in here Friday, but probably going to be just a quick get out, and maybe out. shake a few hands, and and get on and get in a vehicle to take him over to the base. He has a, a presentation to make over there, 
and then he'll be flying out later that day as well. And speaking of the uh, air show here at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, that's a huge event that happens every year here. Hundreds, thousands and hundreds of thousands of people come every year. And you all this year are an active participant with that. Could you explain your role as far as the Wayne Executive Jet Port and how you are going to work with the planes and jets out at the we air are, base? Uh, we, we were awarded the contract to provide fuel support for the air show at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, Wings Over Wayne this year. Uh, quite a show, like I said, if you go to their website or just Google Wings Over Wayne, it gives you a lowdown of everything that's going to be there and what's going on. We're providing uh, at least 6,000 gallons of, of uh, aviation gasoline for the airplanes in the show, as well as about 900 gallons of jet fuel. So we'll be we'll be pretty busy here the next couple of days uh, taking care of and supporting that, those folks. Now we were laughing a few minutes ago about the uh, price of jet fuel is almost you know comparable to regular gas, but then you enlightened us about how much jet fuel it takes. So one of the planes that might be flying in there, you say you're supplying six thousand gallons. How far would that get your average? Um, Fighter jet the would fighter, it be? Is fighter that fighter jets? I, I couldn't give you the exact numbers on those, but they I do know they burn quite a bit of fuel. Uh, the airplanes, uh, for example, like the P fifty one Mustang, probably uses somewhere in the neighborhood of eighty gallons an hour, and uh, so you. you this. It's the gas is not <laughs> that expensive, but the volume that you use it it, it builds up. Mm -hmm. Now eighty ga uh, I, I, per hour. How far would that plane go in an hour? Generally, uh, P fifty one Mustang will probably do probably cruise at around three hundred miles an hour. Oh God, that's that's uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. And, and typically these airplanes that you see on the ramp out here, I don't know if you can pan out on those. But, mm -hmm. uh, typical airplane usually has uh, three to five hours of flight time. Mm -hmm. uh, the Cessnas and, and the smaller Pipers uh, burn somewhere in the neighborhood of eight gallons an hour. And so with that, you know, they cruise uh, around 100 miles an hour, uh, give or take 10 or 15 miles an hour. So, so that gives you a pretty good range of, of flying. Mm -hmm. And most of the time you want to, you, you plan for a destination and you plan for a reserve of fuel to, in case you have to go to an alternate airport. But that'll, that'll get you there pretty quick. and. The biggest thing is it's straight line. There's no following the road, so <laughs> it's kind of like what they used to say that as the crow flies. Mm -hmm. Now, some of our lot, majority of you, some of them are in this area. Some is not Wayne County area, all around the United States. So, for those that was interested in coming into Wayne County area, how would they get in contact with you, the Jet exec, Wayne County Executive Jet Port, if they were coming in? Because I know there's sometimes there. People with private jets that want to come into this area. Well, well, there's you know there's numerous ways. There's several websites, airnav.com, flightplan.com, uh, that you would go to. You put in the particular designator for for Wayne Executive Jet Port, which is GWW, and then that gives them all the information about the airport, what facilities we have here, what amenities we have, the runway links, what type of instrument approaches we have and you can get weather information and all that. From there, there will, there will also be contact numbers on those sites too that they would call us up. And then we have a, a monitoring system where if somebody is on an instrument flight plan, we, we get uh, head, heads up and know that that airplane's coming and approximately when it'll get here, we can track it right in. So it's it's pretty easy to get, to get a hold of us and, and, and contact us and, and the good thing about an airport like this, we're, we're what's known as an uncontrolled field. We don't have a control tower. So it's very, very easy to, to get in and out quickly. Mm -hmm. And then with our fuel, like I said, we have 24 hour, seven days a week, self-serve fuel, credit card, just like if you pulled into a gas station. Wow. Can, we have 24 hour access to the building with a, a code that you punch in that the pilots would know. Mm -hmm. And so, so the facilities are open so they can come in, you know, of course use the facilities, okay. maybe get a snack and, and then do their whatever flight plan they needed to do to take care of them. We're, we're, we're very service oriented here. Oh, okay. Now can, let's say I need to get out of town. Can I catch a flight in this area or in this airport or? No, uh, we don't have any scheduled flights like that. Uh, you'd have to go to one of the I have to airport. go to I have to go to the major building. Or so. Kinston or Raleigh, something like that. Uh -huh. to get out of here. Oh, okay. But that's uh, 
this is more general aviation, like mm -hmm. the charter planes that come in from the different ports, and then and then just the private pilots that are based here. Mm okay. Now you all are doing a lot of things in um, the county, and as you go forth, you said that you were recently here as of September. Tell us what you see futuristically for um, Wayne Executive Jetport. Well. Um, we currently have a flight school here that, that is winding down and then you know, going to close shop, but I've got a new flight school coming in that's, uh, in fact, tomorrow there will be available what they call discovery flights where people can come in and for a, a nominal fee can actually go up and take a flight and, and take control of the airplane at, at, at some point and fly those. Uh, that will be set up right now. It's a Part 61 flight school where you're basically going for your private pilots and, and, and commercial and all enough like that, but they're working on getting and will get a, a Part 141, which means they can go, uh, they can accept federal funding as far as like VA funding, people got VA benefits, they can use that to, to learn how to fly and, and advance their careers that way. Um, another thing we've got coming uh, that'll be probably about uh, six or seven months away, but we have a skydiving school that, that's interested in coming here. And that's that's something I really look forward to. Skydiving is something, and that's something I want to point out too. Any of this activity that's going on here, everybody is welcome to come out. It's not a private club or you know a, a, an elite place where you have to be a member or anything like that. Anybody can come out. We have picnic tables set up. You can come out and have lunch, watch the airplanes. Uh, we, we, all of us here will be glad to give anybody a tour that would like to see what's here. And then, uh, like I said, with, with the flight school here and then the advent of the, the uh, skydiving school, uh, uh, the activity rate should really pick up. The thing, the thing that we're looking for, again, is, is I'm working with the economic development for the county as far as promoting business, promoting the fact that, that we have an airport here well established with good instrument approaches and good runways that makes it convenient for them to come in and out, and, and we're really pushing for more industry to come into Wayne County, which is good all around, tax base, uh, employment base, you know, all that stuff is 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 going to be based around the airport. That's uh, that's what we're here for. Okay. Well, I think I pretty much covered everything. I probably didn't, but is there anything else that I might have failed to touch on, or that you would like to share with me at this time? I can't think of anything, but again, like I said, I, I, I want to stress the fact that, that this airport is a welcome place for families, kids, school tours. If you get up, get in touch with me, we can set something up where we can show you around. Uh, I know uh, we uh, the previous airport that I was in, we worked uh, extensively like with Head Start programs and that type of thing there. Uh, again, we're, we're wide open, we're, we're welcoming, and, and you know, don't be afraid to come out and grab a sandwich. And, just shoot the breeze. Uh, you, you'll you'll have a lot of old pilots, a lot of young pilots around, and you can get pretty much whatever kind of information you want to get. And if you're interested in flying, like I said, we'll get that flight school running up here pretty soon. And uh, it's a it's a great great experience. Okay. All right. Well, I'll thank you so much. You said well, one more last question. You know, you mentioned that you allow <coughs> excuse me students to come out. So if if a school was interested in bringing maybe a class, they would need to contact you, schedule. That Absolutely. would be something that you would, and they can come out and have lunch because you have some nice picnic -tick tables. As a matter of fact, I brought my bacon cheeseburger that I'm going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, is um, so you do have that available to the community. Absolutely, and that's the kind of thing, again, that we like to push. Anything uh, to generate interest in general aviation as a whole. Uh, aviation is a big, big deal in North Carolina. Our, our governor's well behind it. Uh, there's a, he's created a task force to increase the uh, amount of funding that we receive, and, and, and there's so many economic studies. Aviation is a big boom. It's the boom of the future. And these young pilots, the ones that are starting out, uh, the way things are set up with the airline industry and, and the cargo industry as well, it's... Um, they're, they're in a position for the next, say, five to ten years of having a big shortage in pilots. 
And so anyone young, you know, interested in getting into the program and doing this, there will definitely be employment opportunities in the near future. Mm -hmm. So is there an age limit where, you know, your flight school, is it before they can you, begin to fly? You can take flight lessons at, at pretty much any age you want. Uh, mm -hmm. You can start off, you know, young. Uh, you have to be 16 to solo the airplane to fly, to right. solo a powered airplane. Now gliders, you can solo a glider at the age of 15, but it's it's never too early and it's never too late to start. So let me ask you this follow-up. Um, you, you stated that the airlines and the cargo is looking for an exorbitant number of hours for flight. So if you have someone that started flying maybe around 10, right. you know, would those hours count although they were not soloing? Absolutely. They'll, they'll count as your flight hours. Now you have something called pilot in command that, that works with a student pilot and this and any other to do that. And then, and, but, but yeah, all your hours from the time you start your flight training till, till forever count. Okay. And the airlines are looking for uh, a minimum of 1,500 hours is what you, what's required for them. And then there's different ratings that are required to get to that point. Mm, okay. All right, because this sounds like it take a while to get 1,500 hours. Takes a while. Yeah. Takes a while. Okay. Well, all right, then. We appreciate your time, and we will see you tomorrow out here this beautiful place and, and Friday, too. So go ahead. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know when this is going to go out, but if anybody's seeing it or hearing about it, again, tomorrow, Thursday, the uh, four, uh, excuse me, 15th, and uh, or tomorrow's the 14th, 14th and then the 15th on of, Friday of there'll May be, there'll be a lot of activity out here uh, gearing up for the air show at Seymour Johnson this weekend right and for those that view it after that time because this is will be viewed also on the Raymond word which goes throughout the United States right. these are some points that we want to make sure that they know that they can come here to this area also and um, if just in case but they can come to the air show too Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, then. Okay.